See, I have 500 written on this uh, cup. Yes. That's because it holds 500 milliliters. You know what they are? Yeah, they're thousandths of a liter or cc. Same as the cc, right. right. Okay. And because I have 300 written on this one, you can imagine that holds? 300 milliliters. Okay. What I'd like you to do is using only those two cups, mm -hmm. hand me one that has 400 milliliters in it. 400? Um, I don't think that's possible. Oh, yes it is. May I make a suggestion? Sure. Fill the small one first. Okay. That will be 300 milliliters. All right. Now pour the small one into the big one. Okay. Fill the small one again. Okay. There's another 300. Mm -hmm. Pour that one into the big one. But it won't fit. Why not? Because this one will only hold 500 milliliters, and when I pour this one in again, it'll be 600 milliliters. Okay, so pour, fill it up anyway. Okay. And that, when you take 500 away from 600, you're left with the extra 100. Okay, now do you know what to do? Yes. What? You pour this one back in here. All right. Then I pour the 100 milliliters into this one, All right. which will be 100. Okay. Plus 300 milliliters will be 400 milliliters. Here's your 400 milliliters. Okay, thank you. Okay. This is sort of a problem in logic, isn't it? Right. I mean, it didn't look like it could possibly get 400 when you only have a 300 or 500, right. but you did. So who would you like to try this on? Probably my dad. Okay. All you really need are the two cups. Good luck. Hope you fool him. Thank you.